Hey everybody, Stacy here. Welcome back to my channel. Buster's got another abscess on his face, so today we're going to open it up, clean it out, bandage him up, give him some antibiotics, and hopefully everything will be well. I'm not a vet, but I've been raising animals for over eight years, and sometimes you just got to do things yourself. I can't find uh, a local vet around here that'll take them in. That being said, this is not a medical how-to video. I'm just going to show you what I'm doing personally, so don't take this as any kind of medical advice for your own herd. I've got all my medical supplies sitting out here ready to go. I showed you a video a couple weeks ago with what I keep in my animal care kit, so make sure to check that video out. Now I'm going to take Buster out of the pen, that way none of the other goats are bothering me while I'm trying to work on him. Also that bacteria could be contagious, so I don't want to contaminate the pen and potentially spread it to the other goats. Last spring, Buster got an abscess in the right side of his face. I took him into the vet at the University of Georgia, and he had surgery. It cost like $1,000. But they tested to make sure it wasn't CL, and they cleaned it out, and they couldn't find anything wrong. So one theory was that it might be a bad tooth. However, his new abscess is on the left-hand side of his face, so it's probably just some kind of bacteria that he keeps getting in there. First thing we're going to do is shave the hair around where we're going to operate. Unfortunately, I don't have any kind of anesthetic to help with the pain when I cut this open, but what I've noticed is that it got pretty big. It's about the size of a ping pong ball, and the skin out here is pretty thin, just like as if you were going to get a big pimple, how the skin kind of dies and it doesn't have as much sensation in it anymore. You can cut it pretty easy and you won't feel it too bad. Sometimes in life, you just have to do things that are temporarily painful in order to heal. I'm going to try to make a real small incision so it doesn't require stitches. There we go. Good boy. Good boy. I know it's gonna hurt. Oh, gross. It's like a Boston cream donut. Getting a little bit of red blood coming out with it. I'm gonna use some saline wound wash to get some more of that junk out. I made the incision low so it can drain out the bottom. The skin feels hard right here, kind of like a scab. It's mostly empty now, but I'm gonna flush it out one more time. Let's get some iodine in there now. Anytime you put any kind of liquid inside of an animal, like if you're gonna inject it or squirt it in like that, you should probably make sure it's room temperature or body temperature. Not saying to heat it up, but just so it's not as cold and shocking to the nerves. The incision was pretty small, so it should heal well, but it's still large enough to let it drain. So now I'm gonna put some gauze on it and wrap it up. That way it keeps the bacteria out and hopefully it won't get reinfected.
just checking to make sure he can still open his mouth okay and it's not cutting off any circulation. I'll probably feed him by hand tonight and take this off tomorrow. Now for the not so fun part, I've got to give him an injection of antibiotic over the next five days. I use a 20 gauge needle that I bought at Tractor Supply with the syringes and I have LA200 as the antibiotic. I'd prefer penicillin, it works better, but they're starting to regulate penicillin now to where you need a prescription for it. So I've got LA200, which is oxytetracycline, and it does burn when you put it in, so he's not gonna like that at all. I'm gonna inject it subcutaneously, which means directly under the skin. There's a couple ways that you do injections. One is intermuscular, which we're not doing. One is subcutaneously, which we're doing here today. And another one is intravenously, where you put it into the veins directly. On a goat, when you're doing subcutaneous injections, you could do it around the shoulder line here or down here by the ribs, and that's where we're gonna do it today. Tractor Supply sells disposable syringes and needles. I bought a pack of six because I have to administer this over the next five days. This is a 20 gauge needle and three quarters long. That should go right under the skin. Oxytetracycline or LA200 is a broad range antibiotic. And for every 20 pounds of body weight on a goat, you wanna use one cc or one cubic centimeter of the antibiotic. So Buster's about 60 pounds, so we're gonna do three cc's. So the end of the plunger is here at three. When you go in the skin with the needle, there's a sharper point, and then you get the backside of the very tip. You wanna make sure to go in at an angle like this into the skin. You don't wanna have that flipped around upside down like this. Again, I'm going in by the ribs. A little cleaning action right there. Now when I go in, I'm gonna pull back on the plunger a little bit to make sure there's no blood that gets inside the syringe and that'll tell me, hey, you're, you got a clean poke and you're not going into any veins. So pull back, no blood, that's good. So, good boy. Okay, okay, I know it burns, I'm so sorry. Oh, I know, I know, it's okay, it's okay. Let's rub it out. Oh. Yeah, no, I know, I know, I know, I know, come here, it's okay, I know. Oh man, that was horrible, Ugh, that's going to be the worst part, I've got to do that for four more days. That was even worse than cutting into him in his face. I'm sorry Buster, I know that was bad. All right, thank you guys, that's all I got for today. Again, I'm not a vet, so this isn't medical advice for you and your herd, I'm just showing you what I had to do today. And please remember to subscribe, like, and share. I'm gonna go love my goat, poor thing.